This is a question of number puzzle where we have 3, 9, 27 in this row. Your horizontal is the row and in the middle row we have 5, 25. We need to find out this number and the last row we have 7, 49 and 3, 43. The four options are given. Uh, before I solve this one, do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel Alpha V6, the channel for various competitive exams. In my channel, if you will go through, you will get lots of questions dealing with uh, various competitive exams. So do watch, like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel Alpha V6. You will get lots of help from my channel. So here, just see the numbers 3, 9, 27, then we have 525, here we have 749 and 343. So as usual, I often tell that you need to remember the multiples of numbers or square or cube of numbers, then it becomes easy to solve this kind of mathematical reasoning questions. So straight away see, in this row, we have multiples of 3 or this 9 is 3 square, then 27 is 3 cube. In the middle row, there is a multiple of 5 or 5, then we have 5 square. In the last row, 49 is 7 square and 343 is 7 cube. So, in the first, this one, 3, if we we'll consider 3, then 3 into 3 is 9, which is given. And again, 9 into 3 is 27. So, we have to follow the same process over here. So, 5 into 5 is 25 here. Then, 25 into 5 is 125. So, 125 is the answer. So, we will check whether the same process is followed over here or not. So, 7 into 7 is 49, which is given over here. And 49 into 7 is 343. So, the same process is followed in each row. This one, in a different way, you can uh, write like this also. This is 3 to the power 1. This is 3 to the power square. And this is 3 to the power cube. This one is 5 to the power 1 is 5. 5 to the power square. So it should be 5 to the power cube. Here this one is 7 to the power 1. This is 7 to the power square. And this is 7 to the power cube. So 5 to the power cube is 5 into 5 into 5 which is 125. So, this is the answer. Answer is option C. Question of coding and decoding. So, if red is coded as 9, we have to find out how we will code blue and the four options are given. Now, this type of coding decoding question often comes in various competitive exams. So, this questions are very important. For this type of question, we need to write down the English alphabet from A to Z first because we need the position of uh, English alphabets in this type of question. So, uh, I have written this English alphabet first. So, I will begin. Now, as I have told, we have to find out the code to represent blue. Now, it is given red is coded as 9. So, we will write down red first and we will try to find out how 9 is coming. Once we have done it, we will implement the same process in order to get the code for blue. Now, red R, what is the position of R? This is 10. So, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, R is the 18th alphabet. So, we will write 18. Now, E is the 5th alphabet. 5th alphabet. So, we will add 5 and D is the 4th alphabet. Now, just add it. So, this is 27. 
Now, how many alphabets are there in red? Three alphabets. So, we will divide this by 3. So, 27 divided by 3 is 9. So, 9 is given over here. That means we have to proceed in the same manner. So, we will write blue and we will write the position. So, B is the second alphabet. So, write down 2, then put a sign of addition. Now, L is this is 10, 11, 12, 12th alphabet. So, write down. Now, U is 21st alphabet. This is 21st alphabet and E is the 5th alphabet. So, write down 5. Now, according to the pattern, what we have to do? We have to add it. So, this is 14 plus 26. So, 14 plus 26 is 40. Now, how many alphabets are there? 4. So, you have to divide by the number of alphabets as we have done over here divided by 3. So, here we have to divide by 4. So, 40 divided by 4 is 10. So, 10 is the answer. So, blue is coded as 10. So, option C is the answer. That's all for today. Hope you have understood. Thanks for watching.